I go through a decent amount of spray paint. Instead of just throwing these old cans away, I thought it'd be cool if we could do something with them. What I want to do is take the shaker ball out of these old cans and make a marble track for it, but have the marble track look like an old spray paint can. I think that sounds pretty cool, but I guess time will tell. So let's get started. So here I have an empty spray paint can with one of our marbles imprisoned inside. So let's set this marble free. Now the first thing we need to do is to make sure our empty cans are actually empty because cutting into a pressurized can is a terrible idea. So I'm just going to spray into this empty cardboard box until we've let all of the pressure out. Once we have let all the pressure out and we are 1000% positive the can is empty, we can now move ahead and cut into it. Once we've drilled a hole large enough to get the marble out, we'll want to bring this over to the sink because there is wet paint inside. And after a little bit of polishing, we're left with a pretty awesome marble. For the purposes of this video, I have cut into a lot of different spray paint cans, but regardless of brand or price, they all seem to have the exact same shaker ball inside. A shiny aquatic green, I assume resin, shaker ball. However, oddly enough, I've noticed in non-paint aerosol cans, most of them have much smaller metal shaker balls inside, which is pretty interesting. Maybe I'll make a track for them in a future video, but for today, we're going to stick with the green ones. Here I have a clear pipe that I bought online that is almost the exact diameter of a spray paint can. And so I'm going to take it to the miter saw and cut it at 15 and a half centimeters so that it'll be the same length as well. And so with our marble and main housing out of the way, it's time to switch our attention to building the internals or the main track itself. After several hours of playing around with different designs and concepts, I ended up making four different track pieces, plus the top of the can and the bottom door of the can. And so now it's just a matter of printing them all. And here's where the fun part comes. Here is the first chance you have to customize these. The tracks we're about to print are going to kind of look like paint inside the can. So obviously the color you print your tracks in is going to affect the color your spray paint can looks like. I'm going with the sky blue color because I think that'll be cool, but there are literally so many options. End. Print. End. Print. End. Mmm, just like mom used to make. My mom was a robot. So now with our track pieces printed, there's a few things we're going to have to do to get them ready. But first, I'm going to take these two circle pieces and super glue and clamp them together. Like that. Now we can just kind of throw this piece aside until later. Next, we're going to want to take the top of our spray paint can and spray nozzle. We're going to take the top of our spray paint can and spray paint the whole thing inside and out metallic silver. While that dries, we're going to take the spray paint nozzle, match the paint color to the PLA we printed, and then paint around the nozzle to make it look like it actually came from a real used spray paint can. And after all the paint on both of them is dry, we can super glue them together. And so now with the tracks printed, assembled and painted, the plastic pipe cut, and the marble freed, I'm going to take this 3-in-1 beacon glue and we can begin to put this thing together. As you can see, I'm using a ruler to make sure I put the glue in the right place. Then we'll push our piece into the pipe, into the glue. And then once again take our ruler to make sure we're not only gluing it level, but also at the right depth. And then it's just a matter of repeating the process for all the other pieces. Now this last little piece that I call a turtle because it looks like a turtle, it doesn't actually get glued in. It is the door for the bottom of the can. 
And so all we have to do with it is line up with the holes at the bottom of the can, push it in, and give it a quarter turn so it doesn't fall back out. And then, when we do want to take the door back out, we'll just do the whole process in reverse. And with that, our marble run paint can thing is now finally complete. So let's give it a test and see if it works. I do consider this a success. It does entertain me a great deal, and I think it's kind of fun to watch. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's cool? Let me know in the comments down below. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. But if you didn't, please feel free to hit the thumbs down and send me a death threat. But regardless, Lord willing, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to subscribe.